These are two of our sleepy one-year-olds who've just had playtime. They're in their Savic cocoon, which all six rats usually get into. The rest are tucked up in this rat warehouse hammock, so I'm not going to disturb them. Um, that stops them from falling from the top down that drop there. So we always have at least one hammock, usually two or three, but the others are all in the wash at the moment. We need to get more. We need to get more of these lovely ropes as well. This one's just been washed and dried um, and put back securely. Make sure you always tighten the connecting uh, little connectors there because you don't want the ladders to fall down. But ladders are really, really popular and we're definitely going to get some more of those as soon as we've got enough cash available. But we wash them in the machine. We, you can hoover them out every week, but you know every so often, at least once a month, may, if they start to look at all grubby, they need to go in you know every week. We undo all the knots, so we're washing them in the machine as two separate strands of rope. Then we'll re-knot them. We'll cut off any loose threads because you don't want your rats to get caught up or to choke on any long cotton threads. And then we will put them back in, but we intend to get more ropes so that we can fill up all these, some of these blank areas, empty areas, with ropes because the rats do love them. So the next time I show you this, we'll hopefully have ropes crisscrossing all around the top of the cage. And they're a brilliant way for the rats to get around from one area to another. Um, they always have a savvy roadie tunnel, and that's where they hide things. I don't know if you can see, but in here there is their little good bite cheese toy. That's a new one today. There'll be some wood chews hidden about. Um, the tug and gnaw. So we always have the chews that are attached to the side as well. So that's basically the top there. You, you really, um, you know, you've got to think about safety, but also the age of your rats, how many rats you have in a cage. You can't overcrowd things too much because you need there to be plenty of ventilation. But also equally, if it's cold, you need to be plenty of warm places. So if it was cold in the winter, we would have more fleecy hammocks for the rats to get into. And there's little Chloe just seeing what we're doing. Hey, Chloe. Hey, you okay? Good girl. Now downstairs is more of the activity area. And the same here, we want to get some more rope ladders as soon as we have enough cash. This platform is mainly just for them getting up and down, so the only thing we've got on there is a bowl with drinking water. They have two food bowls, one on each level, which they like to cover with paper. And uh, that is their Savic toilet area, litter tray. That's their Trixie flying saucer wheel. Now these are one of the new toys that we bought last week. Um, they're 3D um, nibble stick vegetables wooden chews with like the little, um, I forgot what that stuff's called, sisal type stuff. I don't think it is, I think it's sisal on the top. Um, but they were three for, I think they were about £2 10p. So they're very good value and every single rat has loved those. So that's one of the new toys. We always have plenty of balls about made of different materials. And the girls still have their little cardboard chew tunnel, which they really enjoy. This is the other new toy we got. I didn't realise it was going to be this big, but it's like the rattan ball. Um, I think actually this is called, not rattan, I can't remember what the material is, but I'll put it up at the end for you. But this was much bigger than I thought, very good value. Um, it's about got about half the amount on it that it did have because the girls have been chewing pieces off and, eat, and eating it and dragging it around the cage but that was a very good ball they really enjoyed that one we had to take out the cardboard tube because it was getting mucky and we couldn't get a replacement it was out of stock everywhere the big cardboard tube that they run through so we've put one of the plastic fur plast tubes in from the Jenny cage just one of the short ones which is attached um, to the side. It's got the little clips there and also the wires, uh, not wires, sorry, chains. And we, I mean, we do use them. If you've only got two rats in a cage, we would connect lots of them together to make a lovely runway from the top to the bottom. 
and rats really love their tubes but we found when we've got four, five or six rats in a cage it wasn't practical because there was always a rat in the middle that couldn't get out and there'd be squabbles and fights so we tend to put one or two smaller tubes in where there's lots of rats and we have the big tubes on the floor for playtime. So down here on this level we've got the little tent as well that the rats can pop into, little hidey hole. They seem to really like this, the fact it moves about they seem to enjoy. There's always uh, one rat in there, usually Lily. And then we have three cargo nets. Um, we've clipped one, well two of them have clipped together here with the Rat Warehouse safe hammock clips. And there's another one underneath as well. So the rats can clamber up onto those. They quite often perch on one of those um, cargo nets. They really love the scramble cargo nets. So it's another thing that's a good toy. Um, and I so say you can put them through the washing machine, just take the hammock clips off, put them through as they are. They take a while to dry because of the knots in them. But just pull them out into shape again afterwards and they'll last you quite a long time. They're quite durable. So that's really what we've done with downstairs. They say if it was winter we'd have more fleecy hammocks. If the rats were old or young we'd have more levels and we would also have you know more hammocks to catch them to make sure they don't fall so that that's really what we've done at the moment things will change again I say we do like to leave lots of space especially if there are lots of rats in there you can completely fill these cages up and we tend to have more in them in the winter to keep the cage warmer because obviously there is a lot of ventilation with this one but I say it's getting hot now we want the air to be able to circulate because it's not good for the rat's health if they're going to be in a stuffy atmosphere so anyway that's what we've done for now and hopefully next week um, we'll have the cage that we want to move the baby rats into and I can show you how we're going to set that up and make it nice and safe for very young rats